Hey, it's Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, today is the day, 29 years ago, that O.J. Simpson was acquitted in the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman, 29 years ago today. And of course, O.J. Simpson passed away earlier this year. More recently, Major League Baseball great Pete Rose died. And as soon as Pete Rose's death was reported, one of the first things people noted was that he was lifetime banned from baseball and therefore is not in and is not eligible for the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. And the rule that Pete Rose broke about betting on the game was in effect at the time of his stature as a player and a manager and of course posted in the dugout. Everybody knew the rule. Baseball has since changed a lot as far as having a relationship with betting, but players are still not allowed to bet. Just this year, a player was permanently evicted from the sport for betting. So it does still have the rule. The rule is enforced, and baseball is being consistent to its rules by keeping Pete Rose out of the Hall of Fame. O.J. Simpson was elected to the NFL Hall of Fame on the very first ballot, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's been in there ever since, and their rules are also consistent. They say, look, we don't have any provision for removing a player once he is chosen for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And certainly, statistically, O.J. Simpson belongs there. He did things, he achieved things, playing in 14-game seasons that have not been equated or, or equaled in 16 or 17 game seasons that have followed. So here's the question. Both sports are being true to their rules about eligibility for Hall of Fame. The NFL and O.J. Simpson, MLB and Pete Rose. Which sport do you think got it right? Which sport is being more sensible, equitable and moral in making its decision? Football keeping O.J. Simpson, baseball still barring Pete Rose. We're going to talk about that and many other things, all the breaking news today. We get started live at 4, or you can find our show as an on-demand podcast at KTSA.com.